Hello everyone, today we're gonna review the Basis Dock. It is a dock with 11 ports and it allows you to connect anything you want to your smartphone or your computer. This dock was sent by Banggood, a partner of the channel. And on this side you have all of the ports. I apologize for my box here because the mailing system kinda destroyed it. But the dock is pretty much intact inside, so we're good here. You get this manual, and it's a pretty big manual. I'll do my best here to make sure you see all of the pages. Yeah, I told you it's pretty big. You get a few stickers also. And a warranty card. And here's the dock. It has an aluminum body, which adds a premium feeling to it and it really helps with heat dissipation too. Pretty slim and you have a small entrance here that you can use to insert the USB Type-C and you can hang it this way. You have an LED here which indicates when it's receiving power and the USB-C has a small cover on the side you have two HDMI ports, an SD card slot, RJ45 and a VGA port. On the other side you have a headphone jack, three USB 3.0 ports and a Type-C power delivery port. Then I went ahead and threw everything I could at it. I really wanted to see if it could handle all of the connections at once. So I plugged in my phone and Samsung DeX booted up. If you have a Samsung phone and use this dock, you can basically transform it into a computer. You can use all of the apps with a mouse and a keyboard. So I'm doing some tests here by surfing on the web. And YouTube playback works fine. I'm a marketing manager and I've had it. Thanks for watching. The picture quality is great. Of angry video game nerd. But before we get into the show. You know we all love horror here at Cinemasker, so I wanted to introduce you And you can see it's output into a 4K Network. TV too. Home to some of the largest podcasts in the world. The RQ Network includes original programming like the Magnus Archives and awesome horror anthology series dripping in the supernatural uncomplicated. So before I tell you what's at stake here, let's go into a little background. I really wonder if the switch could work with this. But sadly, it didn't work. It's a shame because it will really take an advantage from all of those parts in the dock. Speaking of games, you can run emulators too. Here's the duck station emulator. And I'm using my Bluetooth controller here. And the image is upscaled to 720p, allowing better graphics. Android games also work very well. Did you know that Horizon Chase is made by a Brazilian company? It is inspired by this NES racing game called Top Gear. And I think this game stands as a spiritual successor of it. The gameplay is pretty close to the original game. And the soundtrack is awesome. There's even a co-op mode 
and the app is free on Play Store, so check it out. It was handling two monitors pretty good, so I added a third one, just to see if it would have any problems. And as you can see, it is running pretty smoothly. Now to test the SD card slot, I plugged in my SD card. And it's showing up here as a USB storage. And here it is, all my files are here. Then I went to check the temperatures. And the phone is running colder at 36 Celsius. And the dock, the max temperature was around 39 degrees. It's a little bit hotter, but the aluminum body really helps dissipate the heat here. Overall, the basis dock is excellent. It worked with all connections simultaneously without a single hiccup. The design is really well thought and the aluminum body is a plus. The only downside is the price tag, but after seeing the performance it is really worth it. Oh and by the way, did you see that I was emulating a Wii game on that last section? Check out this follow-up video to learn how to emulate GameCube and Wii games with GameCube controller support. See you there!